published, 8.58 EDT, the 18th of April 2018, updated, 19.40 EDT, the 18th of April 2018 Justin Trudeau embarked on a whistle-stop tour of London today, meeting some of the capital's most important leaders including the Queen, Theresa May and Sadiq Khan within the space of a few hours. During a busy day for the Canadian leader, he started with a visit to City Hall, where he met the London Mayor and New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern for talks today. Shortly after, he made his way over to Downing Street for talks with Theresa May. The pair were pictured outside Number 10 and also in the garden as they posed for photo opportunities prior to their meeting. A post-Brexit trade deal would likely have been on the agenda between the two leaders, as Britain leaves the EU and its borderless single market for goods and services. It is eager to bolster trade with the Commonwealth, which includes wealthy industrialized nations such as Australia and Canada as well as huge, fast-growing India. Finally he made his way over to Buckingham Palace for a royal meeting with the Queen, where he was seen shaking her hand and bowing graciously. Trudeau is in London this week to take part in the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. At his first engagement at City Hall, Trudeau spoke in front of an audience of children from three secondary schools in the capital, where he along with the New Zealand Prime Minister, and the London Mayor discussed gender equality and issues facing the younger generation. In an event marking 100 years since British women secured the vote, Queen Elizabeth II receives Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau during an audience at Buckingham Palace in London today. It was just one of the many stops on the world leaders tour of London Prime Minister Theresa May greets Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, as he arrives in Downing Street ahead of bilateral talks during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in a packed day. Trudeau also had time to squeeze in a meeting with the British Prime Minister Theresa May during a visit to Downing Street Theresa May would have likely have discussed a post-Brexit trade deal with the Canadian leader as Britain looks to shape a future trading relation with fellow Commonwealth countries once it leaves the European Union Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. New Zealand Premier Jacinda Ardern and London Mayor Sadiq Khan are pictured posing for a selfie with schoolchildren at a Commonwealth event in London today Mr Khan embraced Mr Trudeau, pictured left and right, and called him one of the world's leading feminists as he introduced the two premiers on stage Mr Khan encouraged loud cheering and said, we have got two of the leading feminists in the world, they are in positions of power and influence and they are amazing people. Mr Trudeau and Ms Ardern took questions from the youngsters, including on the advice they would offer to someone hoping to be Prime Minister and their opinions on whether the voting age should be changed. The Canadian Prime Minister is not one to turn down a photo opportunity and today he lived up to his reputation. The 46-year-old was spotted taking a selfie with Sadiq Khan and children from secondary schools in the capital earlier today. Trudeau's ability to connect with people is evident from his social media following. On Twitter, he has amassed a following of 4 million people. In comparison, Canada's Conservative leader Andrew Scheer has just 70,000. In the past, Trudeau has taken selfies with voters out on the campaign trail. Sadiq Khan today and even former U.S. President Barack Obama. Ms. Ardern revealed her mother had been a huge inspiration when pressed on who her role model was, and how during parliamentary question time she would stand at the dispatch box with a file of letters sent by school children. She said that during the debate she looks at drawings and pictures from children, adding, They are not just sending me happy smiley faces. They are most often sending me big worries in the world. Turtles and straws up turtles' noses, plastics in the sea. They care deeply about issues that lots of people talk about. Those letters have an impact on me. Mr. Trudeau told the audience he is raising his daughter to believe she can achieve anything, with no barriers in her way, but added it is also important for his sons to be brought up as feminists as well. If you think about it, we are in a situation where men are unfairly given more opportunities, more power and more weight to what they say and do because we have an imbalance in our society. He added. Well, the men have to be encouraged and brought along and use that extra power and weight we give them to be part of making equality happen, 
to be part of the solution. Mr. Trudeau also stressed how gender equality is not just a social issue, but one that is also economic. Mr. Khan also said that because Ms. Ardern had lived in the English capital for two and a half years, in his eyes it means a Londoner is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. After the event Mr. Khan told reporters, what is fascinating about these two Prime Ministers is that they were keen to come to City Hall. I am not the Prime Minister, I am the Mayor of London, but, they came, to meet with young people and engage. And in this year when we commemorate 100 years since the first women got their right to vote, the trio spoke to the children at City Hall about issues around gender and equality earlier this week, Justin Trudeau met with Emmanuel Macron for a meeting at the Elysee Palace in Paris he said he was impressed by the honesty of the two world leaders and how they are both proud feminists and committed to gender equality. It comes as Mr. Khan came under attack from outspoken pop star Morrissey who said he couldn't talk properly in a politically charged interview on his own website. The singer said on the website Morrissey Central, I saw an interview where he, the mayor, was discussing mental health, and he repeatedly said menal. He could not say the words mental health. Discussing the recent rise in the number of people killed on the streets of London, Morrissey described it as debased adding that the capital was second only to Bangladesh for acid attacks. Stating that we live in an age of atrocity, he went on to claim that because all the attacks were non-white, they were not being truthfully addressed by the government, the Metropolitan Police or the BBC due to political correctness. He also had a rant against Diane Abbott during the talk. Asked by the interviewer whether he voted to leave the EU, Morrissey replied, no. I don't have sufficient faith in the circus of politics. It is a moral disaster on every level, even Tesco wouldn't employ Diane Abbott.